Welcome to another exciting edition of the Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Guy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. Today we're going to talk about problems. And there are a lot of problems out there. <laughs> and today's a twofer, as a matter of fact. We're going to talk about eBay and Amazon. Now, you know you can contact eBay. I know you've had your people contact eBay quite regularly. Oh, yeah. But I told you something the other day that you didn't know about. Here we go again. Refresh my memory. Another way to contact eBay. Oh, that's true. You can yes. use Facebook messages. Uh, simply search on Facebook under eBay, and when it comes up, there's a place there where you can message them, uh, just like you would normally message anyone else. They do get back to you. Uh, it will take two to three days, but they do respond to you. Hmm. I've actually had three issues. Uh, one was solved or answered via Facebook messages. Uh, another one I was able to take care of on my own prior to them getting back to me. And the third one they were not able to solve, uh, but I had already called and taken care of the problem. So just letting you know they do respond to the messages on Facebook. So that's that's a wonderful thing. Um, yeah, that's cool. Three, I, day, three days is a little long, but hey, if it's something urgent. Yeah, yeah if it's urgent, then you definitely yeah. want to call. Um, which I did have something that was sort of urgent, sort of not urgent. Um, what is your ultimate goal when you sell on eBay? The ultimate goal? Like to make the customer happy. And for yourself? Money. Ah, there yeah. you go. <laughs> there you go. Always good to get money. Um, that's what we all do this for. I'm in managed payments. I'm not in it yet, but they're going to be starting me there in July. And all of a sudden, I was on eBay the other day, and I saw a big red exclamation point. And it said, uh, update your banking information to get paid. And I said, I'd like to get paid. <laughs> so um, I clicked on it. And do you have a couple of minutes? You want to hear oh, my tale where, of woe? Where am I going? <laughs> want to hear my tale of woe? Better you than me. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, this is something other than anybody out there getting to manage payments, you may wind up with this problem. So it's real good to listen and if you have it i'll give you a couple of shortcuts on things that you need to do so basically the exclamation point was there and it said that i had to update my information so i clicked on it and i was on ebay itself it wasn't a phishing email no nothing all like that and it said update your banking information and i said okay and basically in the verbiage it said i could link my account by logging into my bank account, which, which I have one at KeyBank, so I could log into my KeyBank account and link it, or I could upload something which showed the, my name, the bank name, and my account number. Now I happen to have one of those, and I said, wonderful. Let me ask you another question. If you see a link and it says, click here to upload banking information, what do you think clicking there will do? Oh, as, as long as it's legit. And, and it was. And I'm I right on eBay. On it, yep. it should upload that information. You know what eBay's does? Nope. <laughs> it takes you to the managed <clears throat> payments page, which explains all the virtues of managed payments and why they're doing it. <clears throat> and I went all over the page, and absolutely <clears throat> nowhere on there is there anything to upload. To anyone on eBay watching this, if you have a link that says, click here to upload, make it possible to upload it's infuriating to go on and not be able to do what the link says. And you know my temperament, and I'm usually pretty even-tempered. We probably can't say on YouTube some <laughs> of the words that I was saying as this was all happening. So then I clicked on the link to, that said, update your bank information. Makes sense, right? It took me to a page, and again, I'm on eBay, so it's all legitimate. The page had my name, my address, my social security number with only the last four showing and my bank account uh, number with only the last four showing and my date of birth. So right. everything's there. So I said, maybe I made an error. So I clicked on update and I put everything back in and I clicked enter and guess what it said? You have made no changes. Please correct <laughs> the errors. <laughs> Now, I'm sure at some point you've probably mistyped something in your life. Oh, every day. Yep. What are the odds that you're going to mistype your social security number twice? 
Zilch. Exactly. So th then the next day, you know, I sent a message off to Facebook, uh, eBay through Facebook, saying, hey, can you help me? Then I got onto the, the thing and I said, let me maybe call them. And have you, have you seen any of the pages on eBay where it talks about uh, calling for help? No. Down at the bottom it says, you, you know, reach out to us. It gives you a number and it gives, and I don't know if you were aware of this or not, it gives an estimated time. Okay. Didn't know that. Yeah, it gives an estimated time. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the phone, as you're aware, but it said two-minute wait time. It's not bad, right? It's normal. Yeah. yeah. 45 minutes later, they answered the phone. I wasn't happy. Um, the lady was able to walk me through. Guess what the problem was? Uh, you had your numbers locked. <laughs> no, no, no. 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 All right. The problem is, when I first signed up, it asked for your bank name, and I typed in key, K-E-Y, with small letters, whatever. It didn't recognize that, even though I put in the routing number, which you would think the routing number would tie into the bank. Sure. No, and when when she walked me through it, it didn't work the first time, but the second time it did, an icon comes up for your bank name, and there were like five different banks that had key as part of their name. Right. Then I had to look and click on the logo oh of the key goodness. bank that I was using, but that was not that option in the first place. Hmm. So if you're signing up for managed payments and you did not get a logo for your bank, you probably will wind up with that exclamation point. Uh, Maybe try again another time. If you don't hmm. get the logo, you probably will have a problem. Now, in my opinion, if you've got the routing number, you would think that would be good enough because I went online and looked up the routing number. I also had it on something from the bank. Uh, so I knew I know I put that in right, but that's absolutely insanity. Uh, just letting you know the fun that I had. You're good to go now though. Uh, yes, the exclamation point is not uh, there. However, we've got a month that they can mix, mess something else up. <laughs> how, how often do they pay you now? Well, I'm not in it yet. I'm in it at the end of July. Uh, they said that most people, every few days, they get their downloads. Hmm. So something, something else fun to look forward to. Um, so that was my tale of woe with eBay. Where else do we sell on? The river. We, we, that we do. <laughs> that we do. Hi. <laughs> Have you ever had to contact them for help? Well, since the COVID, you cannot talk to anyone. You cannot speak to anyone on the phone from what my manager tells me. So you got to email them, which gets you nowhere. <laughs> Pretty much. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what I did? Contacted Amazon? I or did. Tried, tried to. Oh, no, no. I, I, I reached them. Oh, okay. Um, one of your employees was having a problem. Were you aware of this? With yes, yes. Uh, the uh, sell yours here tab was missing. Right, so, yep. Yeah. And it was only one employee out of all of them. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I think it was just her home computer. Mm -hmm. yeah. So basically, I went on to Amazon and I was selling children's books, which are ungated. Anyone can sell children's books. You know, there's don't need any special permissions or anything at all like that. So I went and I clicked on the children's book that I needed and did not have the sell your item on Amazon, did not have that button there. So I went on another one and put it in and it was there. So I clicked on sell your item on Amazon, et cetera, et cetera. Third one was not there. So I said, this is kind of weird. So then I put in Life Magazine and that wasn't there. And I put in a second Life Magazine, that wasn't there. There are some workarounds. Um, let me tell you the couple of workarounds that I found. You can tell me the workarounds your employee found, and then I'll tell you what Amazon told us. Um, one workaround is I've had a lot of these books before. So a workaround is if you've had it before, go into your inventory and find it, and then mm. you can change your quantity, and you can update your quantity. That does work. Um, so that's one way. Uh, I checked this morning. This was a couple of days ago I had the problem. I checked this morning. The sell your item tab, or is the button is not there. However, today, if you actually click on the item and then you click on ones for sale, mm -hmm. uh, along the top it says, uh, if you have one like this, you can sell and you can click there. That is there today. So apparently mm -hmm. they are slowly fixing the problem. Uh, there is, however, another workaround. Mm -hmm. What you need to do, and this is fun, open up a second tab for Amazon. 
and this only works if you're a professional seller, if you paid a $39.99 a month, or $29.99, whatever it is they charge us, um, click on the item, go down to the ASIN, copy that, then go into your other tab and click on add an item, and it'll say, what item are you looking for? Put in the ASIN, click, and it'll come up to a page where you can list. A lot of work. That's a lot of work, <laughs> but it is a workaround. You can still list your item doing that. You have to be the professional seller in order to be able to add items. Mm -hmm. That is a workaround. I don't believe your employee did all of that. No, she cleared her browser history and used a different uh, browser. Yep. And what browser did she end up using? Do you know? Uh, I think she went to Firefox. Firefox, yeah. yeah. From Chrome. She started with Chrome and went to Firefox. And I was starting with Chrome, and I actually tried it on whatever the new Microsoft is and still was not having the button show up to, hmm. to sell your item here. Um, but I did contact Amazon. Yeah, good for you. <laughs> uh, I emailed them. I had to open a case. So I opened a case and I said, you know, look, here's the ASIN that I used. Uh, you're not, the sell your item on Amazon is not available. You cannot get there to be able to list it. Uh, has this become gated? Is it restricted in some manner? If so, how do we sell? Get an email back from them. Basically, you know, tell us the ASIN. I told them the item. I didn't tell them the ASIN the first time. Tell us the ASIN and provide us with a screenshot of the error message. Do you see a problem with that? Yeah. There's no error message. Yeah. So I contacted him back and I said, there is no error message. This button does not show up. And I asked him the questions again. I sent him the ASIN. I sent him a copy to the page which shows that it's not on there. And they did respond. Well, first I answered an email and it turns out you can't answer it in email. You have to actually go into the case itself, click on it and put the same exact thing in the case for it to be looked at because they ignore the email. So I did that. They did answer me back. They said uh, they're not opening up this category to people to sell it this time. Exactly. I don't believe that. In other words, they completely ignored my right. email. They yeah. didn't try to answer it. Whoever was paid is probably paid to close cases. They closed the case. They didn't bother to read it. They didn't bother to even understand what the problem was. They simply closed the case and said, no, 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 we're not opening this up to sell, which I'm sure is a stock answer if somebody no, was trying to get rid of you and just move on. Yep. Now, after you, they closed the case, you should have opened a case of beer. That's what, that's what you should have done. <laughs> Only one. <laughs> Drink your sorrows. Um, so that's kind of the fun of contacting Amazon, the fun of contacting eBay. Um, Pretty, pretty informative video for those out there selling today. Taught you a workaround on Amazon. Taught you what to look out for in managed payments. It was a long week, and hopefully I, we won't, don't have any more of these coming up anytime soon. Uh, check your browser. And that was another thing that actually kind of caught me off guard after, after your employee told me how they had solved the problem. I don't do a lot with IT, but I have dealt with IT enough to know that first question IT should always ask is, what browser, you know, are you trying to do it on yeah, a phone, phone or are you trying right. to do it on a computer? If so, what browser are you using? Because sometimes it is just Firefox as a problem. Sometimes it is just Chrome. Sometimes it's just the setting. You, you can't possibly answer the question without knowing. You can't possibly replicate it without knowing because maybe there is no problem on Bing. And so you're using right. Bing all day long. The programmer isn't saying there isn't a problem. Well, no, you have to go into Firefox version 6.3 and then, oh, there's the problem. I see it. They didn't even bother to ask what I was using. They didn't ask how I was trying to list. They didn't particularly seem to care. Um, but now you don't have to contact Amazon because <laughs> I did the dirty work for you and gave you a couple of workarounds. And uh, hopefully all of managed payments works a little bit better than the setup for to get paid does because that was excruciating as well. Wait, I don't have to do that for a while. <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> you're lucky. You've got till the uh, end of December from what they're saying. Nice. But, yeah, Christmas season. What else you got oh, going on? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like having that botched and not getting paid for uh, a month during Christmas season. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Don't scare me. <laughs> well, I won't get paid till then anyway because there's probably some other thing botched that they <laughs> they won't tell me how to fix. All righty. Well, until next video, hopefully this helps you. And uh, pass it along to friends if they're having problems because, again, these are issues that all of us will run into and we're doing the dirty work and contacting ebay and amazon so you don't have to stay safe all right good luck thank, thank you take care